Hi guys, today I want to show you how to install Gene OS on your Surface uh, laptop or tablet. And first, thing you need to uh, add some space for your Gene OS if you want to install on your SSD. Uh, so, open the Disk Manager, uh, use your mm, sp free space. For example, in my case, it's a uh, Disk C, which is uh, larger part partition and I just need to shrink some space around mm, 50 gigs or it depends on on your needs but uh, generally it's around 50 50 gig so and the amount of space in me meg uh, megabytes and then download Rufus which is <coughs> which is software to make your USB tr disk boot but before before uh, everything you need to install uh, install uh, download uh, GNOS which is uh, easy process download and you will see on my desk desktop GNOS version 1.0.8 which is latest version so before um, before everything you need to install just uh, copy your system backup I mean backup your system which is uh, mini tool partition uh, app <coughs> and hide your uh, system EFI as you see I just complete download in my GNOS which is uh, torrent file you need to install torrent file uh, torrent, cl torrent client as well uh, and hide the uh, using mini tool your EFI folder uh, you see this is uh, in my case uh, disk Z which is uh, my system and you probably will not able to open it so use uh, um, use explorer plus plus which is a uh, free application uh, from the web open as administrator run as administrator uh, so this way you can copy and paste your EFI uh, from uh, from your system Z drive or any drive you you set up <coughs> just create <coughs> folder on desktop and name it um, if I backup or any sort of a name just just to make sure if something goes wrong with your GNOS you later can backup your drive so go ahead and create a desktop folder my EFI backup or and copy and paste to this folder it's all you need to do is just use uh, uh, use explorer plus plus uh, open explorer plus plus a copy from this uh, this app because if you use uh, explorer sim simple windows explorer it's not work it just requires you administrative uh, administrative rules so you need to use explorer plus 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 uh, and run as administrator copy so you so copy a full folder from your system AFI just to in case something goes wrong you can always use this EFI or copy in somewhere in the external flash drive this is um, my, my way you probably don't need to do anything <coughs> so open uh, Rufus as a uh, as administrator. Uh, select your drive, which is USB drive. I've already put my USB stick in into USB uh, on my Surface and select uh, Jingo S uh, from from the select button. Uh, partition name and uh, it's all default, I guess. I I would probably never change anything, so maybe just volume label, just name some somehow GNOS or whatever. But first of all, you need to install Ubuntu. Uh, so uh, target system BIOS or EFI partition MBBR, and boot selection select your ISO file, which is GNOS uh, 0 0.8. Okay, and. Um, per start there is some pop-ups uh, right uh, ISO image recommended okay just to make sure you back up your USB stick USB drive so you probably would won't lose any data this is my USB Ubuntu Foca 
uh, which, which is you see EFI folder, boot folder, copying, and r this Rufus app creating me EFI, and yeah, it's just bootable USB drive with uh, my Jingo S. Uh, and you need a little bit of time to to wait. Just co copy your SL files. <coughs> well, back up your Windows files. If something goes wrong or you just miss something or especially if you have uh, more s more drives dr uh, disk drives with uh, some space or storage your your storage try to back up everything Co make copies don't don't be afraid to make copies because if something goes wrong you you always have a backup just copy files on your you know external 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 drive and this is always helps when you do some work, uh, especially with the making partitions or s uh, just doing some space install install uh, starting apps or whatever. And by the way, if you if you probably will not do shrink on your disk C volume, uh, watch my previous vi uh, videos how to install macOS on uh, your internal system. This is a dual boot. This is a dual boot, but um, maybe uh, in your case uh, shrink f uh, shrink bottom not available if you don't really know how to uh, make it work, make it uh, uh, not not gray out, but uh, possible to shrink your space on a disk drive C. Watch my previous videos on how to install macOS on your uh, internal drive, SSD drive. Well, need time just to do some installation and make sure you do everything correctly. When you finish, uh, um, all you need to do is just um, just close your Rufus drive and and re restart your Surface. As you might see uh, on my USB drive, there is a um, uh, USB stick with my with my um, with my installed uh, Jingo S <coughs> and just where when you restart press and hold volume buttons I and if you need to close everything just restart and hold and hold your volume up button so you can enter your surface E5 and boot in boot configuration try to set not internal storage, but USB storage, and uncheck everything else. So you can boot from USB. Just, just install it. Just install it USB, Jingo S system, <coughs> <coughs> which is first time. You probably need to <coughs> install Windows and select uh, operating system. Select Jingo S. This is a boot selection. I pretty much select my my first option. Just to wait. Y you need to wait just a bit to make sure uh, your USB st stick working. And need a little bit time to copy and, and paste fi files. Uh, there is logo and 
process is pretty much the same on every single mm, every single device. Uh, you see, this is my USB, which is booting right now from USB from USB drive. No errors fi found. Okay, it's good to go. Mm, next step is to enter the password. This is a uh, JingoS system. Enter password from one, one to six, four, five, and six. And this is a uh, JingoS. Hello. Start and uh, enter your password. Uh, this is Wi-Fi. This is my Wi-Fi. Just keep for a while, but you just need to enter your password and agree with the uh, everything. And next step to install system. This is a not a full install, but open the install launcher, which is uh, on the left corner. Um, <coughs> if you already connected the to internet, there is no problem. Just press next or reconnect to Wi-Fi or any uh, other network selection. I just... Uh, uh, here's the important thing. Replace, uh, select the replace partition and, and in down down here select your uh, drive. Uh, try to make sure to select the right drive. When you install, um, next step is just you know, enter the this line of code in the terminal, which is uh, you see previously. And then uh, just restart the computer, hold the um, power and and volume button. While you're starting, please remove the USB drive. And from here, uh, uh, deselect the USB drive and install, uh, select the internal storage. And this, that's it, restart your computer. You remove your USB stick, as you see, uh, there is no USB stick. And this is uh, right now booting from USB. I mean, from your uh, hard drive. And touch screen is working. After I skip the installation process just for you because there is too much time to w uh, just wait for everything installing installing your surface. But when you're done, uh, open the terminal and and type this uh, the line of bash command. Uh, just in terminal and press enter and you will see the installation process so your touch screen will work properly this is only for your uh, surface devices if you run in something like pc whatever uh, this is not required this is only for uh, surface devices and this is a short preview of your jingo s which is nice system thank you for watching this video hope you like it um, hope you see you next time i will make new videos mm, will show you how to use your um, surface pro with maximum mm, and choose the best uh, version of uh, os for you chrome os mac os win os windows os or gen os this is all possible with just one device thank you th thank you so wa wa for watching subscribe to my channel and have a good have a good time